Yeah, snap, snap, take a photo, it'll last longer. I'm double taking, I can see you got some. You know you don't waste the time. You on the chat, you better fast forward. Busy schedule and it got a lot of cash on it. It's the kids show, sit the spare, relax your mind. It's the kids show, take some time and slip some wine. Clothing's optional, but we could always share some. It's the kids show where everyone is welcome. It's the Kit Show. Hello, and welcome to the Kit Show, episode three. Poppy and I are so excited to show you so many amazing adventures we've had over this past year. We have missed you guys so much, and we are so excited to have you here today. And our featured artist of the day is going to be the one and only lovely, whoop, DJ Hotbox. And welcome to Kit's Kitchen. Today, we are going to be tossing a salad. Now, before we start mixing and tossing our salad, it's very important before you toss a salad that you put your hair out of the way so your salad knows you're serious about tossing it. All right, now that we're serious, so first thing you want to do when you're going to make a lovely salad that's good for any time of the year is you want to start with your spinach that we've got here, sliced avocados, so we have some freshly sliced strawberries, some yellow roses which are my favorite color rose, and some nicely sliced almonds here which always give it a nice little bite. Last but never least, some goat cheese. And we're gonna go with a strawberry vinaigrette dressing today to complement our strawberries. So when you're tossing a salad, you wanna make sure you're mentally and physically prepared to toss this salad. I have done so by arranging my ingredients and getting my salad primed and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the almonds, because why not start with nuts, right? And you can never have too many nuts. Now, I'm gonna take our strawberries, which are nice little fans, thanks to our producer, Cam, and we're going to put them in our salad. Usually I'd use a knife, but I just moved into my new home, and I need lots of kitchen utensils, including knives and kitchenware. If you like, you are more than welcome to send me some and I will make you a kitchen video of your own recipe. Next, I'm going to add my avocado. Never be afraid to dump your ingredients into a tossed salad. Most important, creamy, creamy filling. Our goat cheese. Mm. Just melt in your mouth and in your salad. Don't let our dogs cook for us. In our favorite strawberry vinaigrette, Mmm, so yummy. And it's now time to toss our salad. And start tossing. Don't be afraid to get in there. And it's officially time to get in there with your tongs and toss that salad. Well, I sure can't wait to enjoy this tossed salad. You're gonna have to excuse me while I do so. But if you're looking for more recipes, make sure you tune in to The Kit Show and subscribe so you can see all of Kit's cooking segments. That's not what I want to say. See all of Kit's cooking. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day.
Welcome to The Kit Show, episode three. We're here with Autumn, who has her amazing company that she's going to share with us today, Autumn's Heady Glass. Now, if you don't mind, please tell us, what is all of this and what do you have going on here? So this is my little ghetto <laughs> glass studio. We love it, <laughs> we love it. I have my torch here. I have some glass rods. These are the colors I'll be making a mushroom today with. Nice. Um, I have over here my kiln, which once I'm done making pieces, I put it in there so that it can stay heated up. Um, this is one thing I've always loved about you. Will you please show them your lighter knife? Yes, I have a lighter on a knife because nobody's going to steal that shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start making the cap right now for the mushroom. So what are you doing? So right now I'm just kind of gathering up color to make my cap. So the color, I won't need this anymore. I love the colors. Oh, wow, the color of that is beautiful. Now what is this? This is going to be my mushroom cap. This is graphite. Okay. I see why you were drawn to this. Pretty much all I do is make custom pieces. Okay. Like mushrooms, custom pipe, mermaid tails right now. Ooh. Have you made butt plugs? That's definitely the craziest. Yes. Thing I've ever done yes. Yes. For sure. I have a friend um, who who makes butt plugs it, it, by the diameter of the butthole. So to make one piece, how long is it usually the process? I can kind of make mushrooms pretty fast now. Kind of depends on how much detail and stuff I want in it. Like right now, I'm kind of just making a pretty fast one. It could take me from 30 minutes to like two hours. Okay. So if someone does want to reach out to you to have a custom piece built, and what is your Instagram? It's going to be Autumn's Teddy Glass on my Instagram. Tell me what you'd like. All that kind of stuff. We're very intrigued by glass or fire I guess. Tell us again about this bad boy. Do you have a name for it? I don't have a name for that. What should I name it guys? Oh my gosh. That should let me know. Yes. Should we have the viewers yeah, send it? Name it for me? Yeah. If you guys want to send her messages on her Instagram letting her know what you think she should name this, this bad boy over here. We need to know. Oh that's awesome. So cute. Now, when would you actually like have to blow into? Is that when you're trying to make it expand? So you blow. You're actually blowing into glass if you're making any kind of functional piece, like okay. a bowl or a shot glass, a bong. This is gonna be a tube. That's when you'll want to blow into it when you're using something like this. like the easy bake oven for glass. <laughs> and then how long do you leave that baby in there at this point? It's gonna stay all night. So I'm gonna okay. put it in the kneeling process. So pretty much the temperature just has to go down slowly. It goes down in temperature like every 15 minutes. What are you doing now? I'm just doing the, the piece to hold the necklace. So when do you use the different colors compared to the white? Um, what did you call this again? Fritz. And so when you use the different colors, it's just when you want to use different detail, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, is there anything else specifically you want to tell them? Support the local artists. All about that. Don't buy from Purple Haze. Sorry. Local, local. And that's what the kit show is all about, is promoting, supporting local artists. It's like gigantic tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, now that is amazing. That is so beautiful. So it must take a lot of patience to do this. Yeah, especially when you work like on a piece for three hours and then it decides to crack in your face. That's the worst. Ooh. <laughs> then it's perfect. Back in the easy bake oven. Just a little. Oh wow. I can't wait to see that. So 
I want to tell you again, thank you so much for showing us today. It's been such an incredible learning process and it's been beautiful to watch. I, like I said, I could watch you do this all day. So definitely guys, make sure you go to her Instagram, you message her, tell her thank you for being an incredible local artist and also Today we have Caitlin with Good Bob Yoga going to be showing you some amazing exercises that you can use in your daily routine. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, hello, my name is Caitlin Tagavan. I have my own yoga brand at Good Bob Yoga. You can follow my Instagram page at Good Bob Yoga, Facebook pages Good Bob Yoga, Blunts and Yoga, and Caitlin Gypsy for classes. We'll get right to it. I have set a specific routine that you can do every day, it's just about 10 minutes long. I recommend you doing that every day and it will definitely help you get fit for kids. <laughs> okay guys, so we're going to start out with 20 Russian twists. So Russian twists would be from a seated position, lifting your legs, lifting the knees, interlacing the hands in front of the chest, and then you just go from the left to the right. Bicycle crunches. So from there you're going to lay on your back, you're going to lift your knees, you're going to take your hands, place one hand on top of the other behind your head, inhale. Exhale, you're going to bring your left knee in, bring your right elbow outside of your left knee, extend the right leg. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. From there, you're going to lift your heels. From there, you're going to inhale, lower onto your elbows, extend your legs, point your toes, keep your feet together. And then exhale, pull the knees back in the chest, sit up. Take a full body stretch. Inhale, get long cat stretch. And you just pull yourself to the left and under your right elbow. Stretching out the right side, you can take as many breaths here as you'd like. Cross your ankles, bend your elbows, go close to your arms. Bring your feet to the front right corner. Cross your left ankle on top of your right ankle. And then exhale, bend over to the right, look under your left elbow. So bend your knees, place your feet down. So just push into your feet, lift your tailbone, your lower back, middle back, upper back. You're gonna inhale, raise your right knee up, and then straighten the right leg. Exhale, lower your hips down. Doing that maybe three to five times. From there, next, when you have it lifted, go ahead and extend your right thigh next to your left thigh. Flex your right foot and then open your right leg out to the right like a door. Eight to twelve times if you can. Take rest there at the bottom. Inhale, left side, left leg up. We'll just repeat that eight times. Flex your left foot and then open your leg like a door to the left. Just grab the front of your shins right below your knees and then just pull your knees in. Breathe here. Then there, you grab the backs of your thighs and then just rock and roll on your spine. Getting the same thing out of this, you would have $200 back massage. Cross your right forearm over your shins. Bring your left hand behind your spine, and then just exhale, twist, look over your left shoulder. And then when you're ready, three to five breaths on the other side. Once again, each exhale, squeeze your navel up and in. And then just separate your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. So lead with your chest, bow forwards, press your elbows against your knees. Stay there for maybe 12 breaths, and inhale, sit up nice and tall. And I always recommend laying down for at least five minutes at the end of every workout. Thank you for watching episode 3 with Poppy and I. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. There will be more episodes coming your way. Make sure you subscribe and stay in touch with us via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, and beyond. Have a great day. It's the Kid Show. Yeah. Snap, snap, take a photo, it'll last longer I'm double taking, I can see you got some you got it. Don't waste the time, you on the chat, you better fast forward Busy schedule and it got a lot of cash on it It's the kid show, sit a spirit, relax your mind It's the kid show, take some time and sip some wine Clothing's optional, but we could always share some It's the kid show, where everyone is welcome It's the kid show